Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you my Disney, mo well mostly Disney, Pandora charm collection. Now this is a lot of charms and it's the work of about four years I've been collecting them. So I have all of my charms on these, this um, regular, I think it's just standard what charms come on when you first buy your charms from Pandora. Um, Pandora charms are pretty heavy and they are made of sterling silver so they will tarnish over time so I do want to let you know that you will have to polish them to keep their shimmer. Without further ado, I just thought it'd be fun to take a closer look at each one. Um, this was my first Pandora charm. It is the Walt Disney World Castle Charm. And it is modeled after Cinderella's Castle. This Pave Charm, if you can see, was inspired by the hidden Minnie Mouses. Has a little, a few red Sororsky crystals. I have a Tinkerbell and a heart here um, for when I ran my first Disney half marathon. At the time, Disneyland was hosting the uh, Tinkerbell half marathon, so that's where this beauty came from. Next up, I have my 60th anniversary Disney commemorative charm. I got this for my birthday last two years ago. I just love the colors. Next up is my Sorcerer Mickey hat here. This I got um, right before Hollywood Studios and Walt Disney World removed the Sorcerer Mickey hat. Thought it was a little fun addition. Nothing is more iconic than Mickey in the hat. Uh, this I got for Christmas last year, or no, three years ago already. Can't believe how fast time goes. It is the Minnie Mouse bow, and you can see hints of red and green. Uh, it does also say Minnie on it. At the same time, Pandora released a Disney exclusive Minnie and Mickey holiday wreath charm. So that's what this charm is. You can see the Minnie Mouse bow and the different colors. The lighting is not the best, but it's, it's uh, mostly green embellishments here. Okay. Next to that, because I love horses and Tangled. Was what <laughs> Sorry guys, my battery died. But that's a lot better. You can see a little clearer now. Um, going back to this charm, this is Maximus from the Tangled movie. I just thought he was very, very cute. You could see the detailing on him. Um, for the anniversary of Fantasia, you have this Sorcerer Mickey Pave charm. Um... Again, I'm a big fan of the iconic Fantasia, or 75th anniversary, to, let me correct that, and Mickey. Um, this charm is the Mickey Fun Wheel from California Adventure. I got it before everything changed over to Pixar Pier. I just, it's one of my favorite attraction pieces to photograph when I go down to Southern California. This Tinkerbell charm, again, uh, was for my second Disney Half Marathon. One of my favorites is Mrs. Potts and Chip here. Um, I got that because it reminds me a lot of my grandmother. She's one of my favorite characters from uh, uh, Beauty and the Beast here. Okay, I'm gonna try finishing this on my phone now.
because my camera's died twice, even with the backup battery. <laughs> but um, it's a little hard to see Chip on the Mrs. Potts charm, but you can see her. Fun fact, um, there's Chip from Chippendale and Chip from Beauty and the Beast. It's the only Disney character with two different, same name, two different characters. Uh, the next three beads came as a holiday set from a Disney Parks exclusive. If I can flip them the right way, you have Santa Mickey. You have... Minnie and Mickey kissing as they are ice skating. Flip this the other way. And Santa, or maybe not Santa, maybe. Next up is my charm from Disneyland Paris. I've got Minnie Mouse with the Eiffel Tower here. At the time, this was a Disneyland Paris exclusive. It no longer is. It's now available online. My only non-Disney charm on here is this little koala bear. It was a very, um, let's say fun gift, I guess, is for lack of a better term. And it's still early for me. Um, from my sister. Uh, I loved koalas growing up and she thought, I needed a little bear charm. And last but not least is my Aladdin charm. And I got that when I started my job last year. Um, because it was a whole new world of adventure. You can see Aladdin and Jasmine and some Arabian theme charmed. Uh, Arabian Nights, excuse me. Flying over Agrabah. So I do have the Hogwarts Harry Potter charm I'll probably put here, but this bracelet's getting pretty full and it's pretty heavy. But I just wanted to share a little piece of my collection with you. I'm pretty proud of it. It's taken a long time and I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty expensive. Each charm ranges between 40 and like $100. But if you take care of it and um, enjoy charms, it's just a fun collection to have. The only thing I've heard bad reviews about is on this Minnie Mouse charm here. Um, Minnie has been known to separate from the tower. They're not attached very well, I guess is what I've heard, but we'll see. I like to just wear it and enjoy it, and if I need to replace it, then I will eventually, but that's it for today. If you like videos like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me for more.